Hi, I'm Ishan from Fun FTC, and we're here with Team 12518, Almond Robotics from Maryland. They're one of the Maryland teams here at the Maryland Tech Invitational. They got an awesome robot, competed at the Chesapeake State Championship. Now they're here competing for a championship at the MTI. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. Hey FTC fans, are you ready for Freight Frenzy? Join us after kickoff live all weekend, September 18th and 19th, as we'll be out at Kettering University for the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. You'll get detailed breakdowns of game elements, the field, and prototyping and testing of robot components and assemblies. Watch live, view short videos after, and ask questions for the Kettering team at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. Let's go ahead and start talking about our robot. We got Ronnie and Aisha. So Tell me a little bit about your intake. You got a really pink robot. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about the 3D printing that you did and uh, some of the surgical tubing you did? Sure. So our intake is a drop-down intake, so it's able to move up and down. And we 3D printed our intake out of um, mostly out of PLA along with, um, so as you can see here, we have a lot of different studs on the intake. And this allows us to pick and choose where we put our surgical tubing, which lets us prototype and adjust and fine tune our intake over time really quickly. And with this, we were able to um, be able to iterate quickly on our intake. So how were you able to prevent this surgical tubing from falling off of your intake, right? Like, some teams might think that this surgical tubing will pop off when a ring goes by. How do you prevent that from happening? Yeah, so generally we haven't had that problem. We've just been able to keep the surgical tubing on there, and it's been able to stay on the studs very well. And then is this PLA, PTG, what materials are you using for all this 3D printing that you got going on? Yeah, so all of the material that we used on our robot is going to be PLA. Okay, awesome. And could you talk a little bit about your linkage, right? You got a really cool linkage to pop up and down. If you can show that, talk a little bit more about how you came up with that design. Sure, so we were inspired by um, a lot of the drop-down intakes that we saw, and we decided to create a linkage so that we could possibly intake vertical of the rings for remote matches, and also be able to intake um, rings normally. Can you be able to pick up rings off the ground when the intake is down? Awesome. So now the, ri the ring comes into your robot. It goes into this hopper. Could you talk a little bit more about that hopper design and what went into it? Sure. So our hopper is a 3D printed um, semicircle where um, it's printed a little larger than the actual ring so that the ring has a lot of um, compliance and space to be able to move, um, to be able to land in the hopper. And then when it goes up, um, we use a uh, four bar linkage in order to move the hopper up to the shooter. And so did you change up like the lengths of the bar so then it goes up at an angle? Yes. We were able to choose the pose that the um, actual ho uh, hopper would be in once it's actually at the shooter. Yep. And so what CAD did you use for that, right? I'm assuming you designed most of this 3D printed stuff in CAD. Yeah. So we mainly use Onshape because we found that um, it was really good for rapidly um, developing different um, prototypes and different parts just because of the um, FTC um, parts library and all the things that have already been done using Onshape. Awesome. And now you got your shooter. Could you talk a little bit more about like why you did their shooter like this? It looks like you got a black wheel and a blue wheel. Explain a little bit more about that. Yeah, so the black wheel there is really just there um, in place of, in order to add rotational inertia to the wheel to allow it to uh, maintain its velocity whenever we shoot a ring. Awesome. Then, oh. Go ahead. Yeah, so and then we have this, um, this little curve right here which just helps to stabilize the ring as it's being shot and increase the surface area that we have between the wheel and the ring. Then you got this little hinge here. Could you talk a little bit more about sure. that? So this hinge right here um, allows us to adjust the angle of the ring that's being shot out of our shooter, which we actually use um, during teleop in order to be able to shoot from many different distances on the field. Right, and so you got this big black plate. The reason you oh. added that? Right, so this big back plate, um, we added this on a little bit later, and it's meant in order to be able to block rings from other teams. Because, you know, we're in an in-person match with four teams, and we'd like to be able to block teams, um, block rings that they're shooting that are below 18 inches. Awesome. That's all I got. Uh, actually, we got this wobble goal mechanism all 3D printed. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Sure. So we actually, this wobble goal is just a um, single bar arm, and we 3D printed this so that it's really light because we wanted to be able to score the wobble goal really quickly at the end of the matches so we could get more cycles in after scoring our wobbles. 
Really cool. Awesome robot, you guys. Really excited to see you compete more in the MTI. Good luck in the rest of the competition, and hopefully we'll see you in the finals. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program, and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support Fun by joining Fun Nation. Click the Join button, and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.